Daddy, you go crazy. DJ UTV, let them know who we got in the building. Uh, your best uncle, nigga. Uh, Rat Williams. Uh, get that dope out the house before I tell your mama, nigga. Uh, and she go call the police on you. Uh, uh, Mr. Community Activist. Uh, who shot that baby? Uh, Leroy did it. Well, y'all need to tell Leroy to turn his ass in. Mr. Charleston White. Yeah, clean up the community. Charleston White, what you on, gang? Uh, uh, yeah, you young niggas kill me with that what you on shit. <laughs> I ain't on the mother thing, but I'm feeling good. Uh, yeah, 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 I'm feeling good. I just got a call from the detective uh, that I'm wanted for two felony crimes. Uh, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon time two. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I just got that call today. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go turn myself in in the morning. You have to, you have to, you have to, you have to use your weapon? Uh, for gang members fucking with me. Nigga hit me in the head with a pistol. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I, I've been having a problem with the police. Me and the police in Fort Worth, we been, we used to be buddies. Uh, and then we broke up and fell out. Uh, I went with the niggas. Uh, they went with the preachers. And so uh, I'm playing snitch in the community. Mm -hmm. The nigga that hit me in the head, and the, and, and, and the nigga that hit me in the head with the gun, he a real gangster killer. Okay. Uh, his, his name Kevin Spencer. <laughs> uh, but he a snitch. So that book that you got in there, can't say, somebody get that book for me, The Life of the Fishbowl. That, that book in there, The Life of the Fishbowl, is about Kevin Spencer and all the four trade gangster crips that was on the south side of town. It was like 50 some of them niggas. Right. They had been killing and selling dope. And this one white man, this one white man, homie, uh, Officer Tegan, Tegan Broadwater, showed up in that neighborhood. And my nigga, this, this is the new Dunny Brasco right here. This white dude went undercover, just him and his sergeant, and he had $1,300 playing like he can buy keys. And he got 52, how many say? 51 of the nation's most notorious crips. So Kevin Spencer was the head of the game. He the, he the main nigga in here. So Kevin Spencer, he become the main snitch. And nigga, he the, he the G of the town. Everybody admired this nigga. I even admired him one time. He was the epitome of what a G nigga is, homie. Uh, but he broke weak when the feds got him. So he scared everybody not to tell. Then he told them. So he started telling on the little homies that done done murders for him. Didn't have nothing to do with the dope. So shit, nigga, can't nobody beat him up. So he come back to the city and say, can't nobody whoop me. So all these niggas put their head down and hit his seeds like he ain't told. I'm the only nigga in the city. I said, wait, that nigga snitch. Y'all had fucked that nigga. I'm playing snitch. Nigga, y'all ain't, I ain't, no, I ain't, he in real paperwork. You can look it up, Kevin Spencer. So the rapping niggas, they still playing gangster with him. So I'm saying, you niggas standing on the code, but it's paperwork on this nigga, homie. So they hug this nigga and, and celebrate him. And I'm the only one in the city shaming for snitching. Uh, so, uh, yeah, nigga hit me in the head with a pistol in, in some kind of way. Uh, I'm the only one on video pointing guns. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we yeah. know you got a history of, you know, pulling out. You lying, I ain't got no, I'm, I'm in character. I'm in character. Uh, but now I ain't got no history of that shit, DJ. You, you lying. Uh, okay. uh, but, but, but I have beat a, a case before by some gang members threatening me online, came down to my youth organization, uh, Playing gangster, I played gangster too, and I'm the only one went to jail. So that's what made me start telling. I'm gonna tell on you, nigga, because they tricked me into playing gangster, and I caught an aggravated assault with a deadly weapon against some blood niggas out of I don't know where them niggas were from, homie. Nigga named Coco Hughes and all them niggas, homie, show up and yeah, yeah, pretty cars, you know, like everybody was ready to die. Uh, yeah, and I'm the only one went to jail. So while I was in jail, I was waiting for them niggas to come through. Shit, boy, after about twelve hours. I said, man, I'm gonna start telling too then, nigga. Y'all wanna tell all these niggas, homie? Because it ain't it ain't no rules in this shit. So uh, yeah, nigga, I got a call from the detective today, man. Say, so, yeah, I got two warrants out of me. Man. I just called my lawyer. Well, we know you got the bond money, you'll get about it out. You got the lawyer money, you, you you'll be you'll be okay. Oh uh, yeah, and, and and shout out to all my celebrity friends. Just call it and say, we got you. Hey, shit, shit. You got celebrity friends? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a bunch of deals on the table now after that Cam Newton podcast. So Me and Aiden Ralston made up. Uh, yeah, yeah, we finna start back fucking around. Uh, and we ain't gonna do nothing gay together. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
uh, uh, nigga, uh, me and Cam Newton for the create youth curriculum. Uh, me and Young Thug done got buddy buddy. Uh, me and Yak got it. Uh, yeah, yeah, I done had a change of heart since the Cam Newton program. Yeah, yeah, like something happened to me. Man, that was one of your best interviews. Oh, uh, I, I brought I, I brought my soul to the world. I left myself vulnerable. So I, I kind of let him handle me, and I don't let niggas handle me, homie. Uh, uh, I, I even I, I kept myself reserved. Uh, because I wanted people to see the man as well as see flickers of the character. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's what makes it funny and interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but I wanted to tell my story uh, in, in my own narrative, and, and, and that's what I did. Yeah. I had learned some things about you that I ha hadn't known you know, prior to. Like when you talk about uh, being in the washing machine yeah. at five years old. You yeah, know? My, uh, yeah, my leg, uh, my bone had popped out right here. Mm -hmm. My bone had popped out there. Bone popped out there, and I had pins in, in between my legs. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, uh, that was at five years old. Uh, but but the tenacity that I had, homie, to learn how to walk with a broken body, uh, in the cast, that's what made me so uh, polarizing as a kid within my family. Uh, uh, because I had to learn how to rewalk all over again once I came out the cast. So once they took the cast off, I didn't know how to walk. I had to learn how to rewalk again. Uh. Two, he saw, I fell in the washing machine at five. I put my eye out at seven. So five to seven, I probably had at least four or five different leg surgeries. Uh, from seven to 12, I had nine different eye surgeries. So I never really went to school, homie. Mm. I, I, was, I was tutored. I had a private tutor. I had a private white tutor. Uh, so, so a lot of the things that I know, uh, it, it, was, it was deposited uh, often to me from, from the teachers that, that would teach me one-on-one. -on -one. So I, I vaguely remember going to school uh, in a full setting for a full year, probably up until like the third or fourth grade. So from pre from pre K to third or fourth grade, homie, I was a private talk kid. That why nigga ain't smarter than me. He ain't had no one on one teacher. Little dumb mother. That's why he came, you know, homie. Uh, and, and back then, uh, everything was about books. As kids, nigga, we stayed in the library in the eighties. Nigga, we had book furrows. I was the kid, every time we had a book for a nigga, I bought books, magazines, nigga, because my mama was well to do. And, and I liked to read. Uh, I, we had encyclopedias, almanacs. Mother don't know about that shit today. Uh, we had the who's who's, uh, uh, you know, so now, nah, homie, so I was a, a, a well uh, a, a read kid. Uh, kids who read better make better decisions. Kid that can't read, he can't really make too, too good of decisions. So, so you said you had a private tutor. Yeah. So one, so you like you were homeschooled. Yeah. Well, I, I wasn't homeschooled. Uh, I couldn't walk, nigga. I, I had, a, I was in a full body cast, right? So I was in a full body cast from here, all the way down, and I had a stick between my leg, so I couldn't sit up really. So I had to lay flat. I had to lay flat, and, and my dick was out, and I had, I had, so I had, a, I had a, 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 a pamper diaper. I was laying in bed one day. My mama was outside, and they used to, all the kids in the neighborhood used to come stand around the bed and look at me. And they'd be, oh, what's wrong, Blue? And boy, I'd be standing there feeling like a science project. <laughs> Say, man, mama, I'm looking at them motherfuckers. And then before I put my eye out, I'm looking at them motherfuckers. And I had lost so much blood, nigga. Uh, nigga, I was black as you. I, I was black because I had <laughs> lost so much blood. Uh, and I had one of them Billy D. William perm, so my heart was real straight. Uh, Nigga, all them kids went outside, and I was laying there saying, Mama! Mama! And they couldn't hear me. And they was out there laughing. Kevin! Boy, they couldn't hear me. Nigga, I said, Legs, you go get up and walk. <laughs> Nigga, Boy. I stood outside with that dick hanging. Boy, everybody was looking. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I became a miracle child mm. at five years old. So that's why I became like the family's mascot. DJ, you go crazy.